Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I'm Nikita and today we are going to talk about multiple sclerosis, the types of the disease. But before starting the video, I request you to subscribe to my channel. It truly really means a lot to me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's start. Okay, so generally the types of multiple sclerosis come into the picture after the diagnosis which is confirmed for an individual okay prior to the multiple sclerosis diagnosis the individual with possible multiple sclerosis may fall under the parameters of one of the two syndromes okay the first syndrome is clinically isolated syndrome cis the second syndrome is radiologically isolated syndrome ris what is cis someone may have symptoms of multiple sclerosis for the first time and an MRI may show evidence of multiple sclerosis but a diagnosis cannot be confirmed at that time and that's the reason it is known as clinically isolated syndrome. The symptoms are there. MRI scan also shows evidence of multiple sclerosis but the diagnosis is yet not confirmed. In this picture the DMTs disease modifying treatments or it is also known as dmds disease modifying drugs are given so that if actually uh, a diagnosis is confirmed the patient will have benefit of taking the drugs at an earlier stage okay now second is ris when someone has an mri performed for an unrelated reason it is nowhere related to multiple sclerosis and he shows evidence of multiple sclerosis on the MRI scan when he doesn't have any signs of multiple sclerosis symptoms. That scenario, he is placed under RIS. Radiologically, it is confirmed that the person has multiple sclerosis. Okay, but strangely, he has not shown any signs of multiple sclerosis symptoms. So, the possible uh, suspect of multiple sclerosis will be placed in either of the two and further the diagnosis will take place and the disease will be progressing and based on the progression the types of multiple sclerosis are defined which we will be talking about in a minute okay now let's talk about the types of multiple sclerosis so there are three prominent types of multiple sclerosis are rms SPMS and PPMS. So, RRMS is relapse remitting multiple sclerosis. Initially, people have relapses. Now, what is relapse? When there is a new symptom which occurs in a patient or the symptoms, you know, progress. So, that period is known as relapse. Now, relapses are also known as flare ups, exacerbations, or attacks, wherein the symptoms will worsen over the time. Now, this period of relapse exists for few days to few months, and then there is this period of remissions. What is remissions? A period wherein there is no symptoms, symptomless. Okay, so alternate phases of relapses, remissions, relapses, remissions and that's why the name RRMS. 80 to 85 percent of the people who are diagnosed with multiple sclerosis are you know under this particular type. They are diagnosed initially with RRMS. Coming to the second type, SPMS, secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. What happens is the RRMS progresses over a period of time to SPMS okay now this advancement is usually within 10 years if the patient does not take any treatment okay so there is no dramatic variations in the symptoms of RRMS but rather it has a slow and steady progression of the disease the symptoms of RRMS in this particular type will be same it will be constant there is no dramatic changes in it but rather whatever symptoms are there initially in this rrms that will slowly and steadily progress 
That's why secondary progress multiple sclerosis. Okay. And the third one is PPMS primary progressive multiple sclerosis in which the patient is not initially diagnosed with RRMS and directly he is diagnosed with PPMS. Okay. The patient is not diagnosed with RRMS but has more steady progression. So directly the symptoms will be there and that is not a slow progression of the disease that is more of a you know constant moderate kind of progression. The disease is not starting with RRMS meaning there will be no relapses, no remissions. Directly symptoms and then it you know progresses over time. 10% as in uh, you know 10% of the MS patients are diagnosed with PPMS. So these are the three important types of multiple sclerosis. Apart from these, there are quite a few other types which I'll be going through in a minute. Okay, now let's talk about the other remaining types of multiple sclerosis which are PRMS, Progressive Relapsing Multiple Sclerosis. It's a, a rare type of multiple sclerosis and that's why small percentage of individuals are actually diagnosed with this particular type. In this particular type, the symptoms steadily worsens from the onset, okay. The symptom flare-ups which are the relapses with or without remissions are also present. So there might be relapse and remission, there may not be. The label PRMS is less frequently used, okay. So this is another type. Now apart from this type, there are few more. The terminologies might be different or the names might be uncommon but these are the other types which I found in studies of multiple sclerosis. So the first one is fulminate multiple sclerosis. It is also known as malignant multiple sclerosis also known as Marburg multiple sclerosis. Now this type of multiple sclerosis shows rapidly progressive disease course with severe relapses that's why the name malignant okay from the period you are diagnosed within five years down the line the symptoms are extremely worse okay that's the reason i've written here five years the next one is inactive multiple sclerosis which is also known as benign multiple sclerosis in this particular time there is no change or rather little change even after a period of 15 years okay however progression may occur at a later time so your even after a period of 15 years, there is very little change and that's the reason it is known as benign multiple sclerosis or inactive. Okay, so these were the different types of multiple sclerosis. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Bye-bye.